There's a major technology outage handcuffed operations of companies around the world. The cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike says the outage was caused by a faulty update to computers running Microsoft Windows. The outage hit Australia particularly hard. The outage has left airlines around the world without access to check-in and boarding services, resulting in thousands of canceled or delayed flights. Those of the FAA warned flights across the country could be impacted through the weekend. The president has been briefed on the outage and his team is in touch with CrowdStrike and impacted entities. Now we are covering the impacts here of the global tech outage. Melissa Andrews spoke with IT experts to learn more about the company CrowdStrike. Also, Silver Barker is at Detroit Metro checking in on flights, talking to stranded travelers. We're going to check in with her in just a moment. First, let's get over to Mel. Well, there are a lot of questions out there about this IT catastrophe. First, what is CrowdStrike? I dug into this today. This is a cybersecurity firm, and many companies and organizations use it for that purpose, security. But when CrowdStrike sent out a security update this morning, it contained a bug which shut down Microsoft platforms around the world. The company rolled back that update and released a new one. I talked to the chair of the BGSU Department of Computer Science today who told me that using any kind of technology comes with risks. I think uh, the public awareness is awareness and education is important for these kind of things. Uh, because it could happen to any of us uh, at a personal level or to whatever you know, organization they are in. It could happen very easily. Professor Kwan says the state offers cybersecurity programs for the public and says BGSU collaborated with the University of Toledo to educate senior citizens on cybersecurity. He also says more workers are needed in computer programming to make sure these problems can be prevented and fixed when they do happen. Jeff? It certainly has not been a great start to the weekend for many who are traveling. The global outage affected a number of airlines, causing delays and cancellations. Our Silver Barker, she joins us live from Detroit Metro. Silver, what do we know? Yeah, still issues running. I've spoken with a few travelers here, many stranded travelers actually in case, who have been turned away. They've had to go back home and find a new plan now. One even says they have an 18-hour drive, so definitely not a great start to the weekend. And actually speaking with a few travelers, listen to what they had to say. Oh, let's see, where do we start? Frustrated. Yeah, we're, um, everyone's frustrated and annoyed. They Wanting to, to go can't. home. I, I want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home. I don't want to be here. I just really just want to go home. It's how many travelers are feeling they are stuck at airports due to crowd strikes and global outage. The issue has caused a delay in flights and even a cancellation for some people, forcing them to have to change their travel plans. One traveler, Mina Boyan, says they are in line waiting for the next available flight for her and her family to get to Orlando. They, like we had one flight attendant, there's someone come up to us and ask, and she checked our status and she said it was canceled and all we could do is just wait in line. And so they wait in line with several others who've been told the same thing. We've been here since 10 o'clock this morning, so it is um, past 12 now in this line. Some families have been told they may have to split up and find any seat that's available for where they are trying to get to. We'll have to figure out our situations. We have car lined up. We have Airbnb all lined up. So I think we'll have to, at that point, decide who's going to go on what flight and get there first. And now earlier, we did reach out to Delta Airlines, which they have not yet gotten back to us. So we're hoping to hear something from them, but we haven't heard anything yet. Reporting from Detroit Metro Airport, Silver Barker, WTOL 11. Obviously, still some lines behind her tonight, too. Some long lines. This is a developing story we are going to continue to cover. There's a full list of organizations and businesses impacted by the outage on our website, along with more information on the outage. We'll bring updates on air and online as they become available.